So recently I did a video on my Instagram and my TikTok um, to share with you guys something I like to do for my ICU patients, family members, um, when the patient is about to pass away or go on comfort care. This is something I've done for years and a lot of nurses in my unit do it and I wanted to share on here this idea as well as some other ideas that I like to do for um, my patients and their families, um, just kind of depending on the situation. But um, so one thing that I like to do and you probably already saw if you follow me on Instagram or my TikTok is I like to take an expired little lab test tube and um, we keep all the expired ones on my unit just for this and I print off an ECG strip cut it up and roll it up and put it in the lab test tube so that way I can give that to the patient's family members of like um, you could do like a patient's last heartbeat or you can just print off a, like a strip from you know when they're still alive and give it to them so that way they have like a little test tube of their loved one's heartbeat before they passed away. Um, I always ask family members this, um, if they would like this before I give it to them because some may not want it, um, but usually most people are pretty receptive and appreciate it a lot. Um, so that's one thing I like to do, but I had a lot of people asking me like, well, I don't have my patients on ECG strips or like what are some other things we can do or what if like, um, the patient comes into the ER and they're already in like full-blown cardiac arrest and we never get them back. Like, is there something else we can do? So yes, I wanted to share a couple other things that I like to do for um, my patients. And um, one of those things are handprints. So um, if you have like an ink pad on your unit and some like nice cardstock paper doing handprints of the patient um, while they're still alive or after they've passed. So that way the family members can always have that. I also like to offer to like take pictures for um, the family and this really depends obviously like on the family and the patient um, but not necessarily like pictures like a group photo or anything unless that's what they want but like I offer do you want to hold his or her hand and I can take a picture of your guys' hands um, so that way they kind of have that little keepsake. Another thing that you can do, and again, very family patient specific, and there may be cultural or religious beliefs that like contraindicate this, but um, cutting a piece of hair of the patient and putting it like in a little baggie or a little test tube, um, so that way the family can have that. And again, it just depends on <laughs> if the family would like that. Some people might think that's weird, but some people really appreciate that. Um, so yeah, those are a couple little things that I've done and that I like to do. Um, another thing that I like to do is um, if it's like a planned passing, like okay, family's coming in at noon and we're gonna be withdrawing care, putting them on comfort care, is I like to ask like, would you like to listen to the patient's heartbeat with my stethoscope so they can hear like their heartbeat for, I don't wanna say one last time, but you know, one last time. Um, so they have that um, kind of memory. So let me know if you guys have any other ideas. Um, Share them down below and uh, let me know if you practice these in your unit or if you're gonna practice them, add them, whatever. Um, I just like to try and make the dying process and experience somewhat positive for family members because um, it can be a very, very sad time, very traumatic time. And I just want it to like have that little bit of like, I don't know, just positivity, a little bit of like sunlight, a little bit of I don't know, brightness, um, even though it may or may not be a very, very devastating time for families. So let me know what you guys think if you like these videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.